Pro V1 testing versus budget golf balls, driver edition. Which one goes the furthest? I did this with the 7 iron and the super soft went 216 yards. I was obviously hitting it big that day. Now we're going to do it with a driver and see which one takes it. Will the super soft do it? And hey, I've even got a different Larry color this time, gone from red to the green. Will the super soft take it again with driver or will one of the other ones do it? And this time we've also got this really budget golf ball for only 7.99 for 10. We're going to chuck this in there and see how this does. So let's do this. Let's see what happens. I'm excited for this one. Stay till the end because I think the results are going to be super, super fascinating. Right, so up first, let's hit a little Pro V1. I got 3.19 out of it a minute ago. So let's see what we can do. We're not going to hit too many of each of these. I'm getting tired. Okay. Yeah, so 3.19 last time. That's not far off as good as I can hit it. I'll do one more, see if I can better it. Yeah, I can't hear about that. <laughs> okay, so we've got 319 out of this one. The reigning champion, the super soft. Here we go. It is soft, I'll give it that. Okay, bad. Oh, I saved that. So that was it. That was over 300 carry. Okay, there we go. What was that? Three, two, three. One more, see if I can better that. Three, two, three. I should probably write these down, otherwise I'm gonna forget. Do one more of this. It's because I feel like I can get a little bit more out of it. No, I don't think that was good enough. No, nope, definitely wasn't good enough. <laughs> okay. So not a bad showing from it though. It's in the lead. Super soft in the lead again. Not surprised. It's a good ball, it really is. Next up, TaylorMade Distance Plus. These are super cheap. You can get these for about 13 or 14 pounds. Just need to start doing a budget within the budget balls test, really. Right, what can we do with this one? Let us see. Come on. Hitting driver better now, that's for sure. Two ninety-ish carry, not bad. Three nineteen. I'm not sure I'll be able to beat that. That wasn't very well hit. It's gone all right though. But not a very good hit. Yeah. That was it. Out the middle. It's gone all the way into the office. Okay, 319. It couldn't beat 319. 305 carry. It's decent though. Yeah, 319. Okay. Not bad. Taylor made distance plus. Love that. Tricks and distance now. Again, really good value ball. Get these for about 14 or 15 pounds as well. Oh, it's pulled. That was horrendously pulled. Oh, oh the tea there. Nah, not good enough, that. That was nicely hit. Oh, my driver's working now. It's only taken a few hundred hours. 318. So 
feel like it's going left. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to beat 318. 315. Nah. Nope, okay. Actually, we've got two more to go, nearly there. Yeah, okay, fine. So, tightest velocity. A lot of people like this golf ball. Let's see if I can send it more than 326, which is the lead at the minute. Not like that, I won't. Oh, oh that got Let's try again. That was better. It doesn't, it feels odd. This one feels different. It's gone all right though, isn't it? Ooh, 326. Oh, I'm just gonna push the green back slightly because I feel like the rough is messing with this. There we go. That was 326. Might have to have a playoff. Oh, it's dead straight but it's spun up so much, bad hit. Okay. Okay, last one then. Special extra entry, the Druid golf ball. Let's see, can it beat 326, which is where the tightest velocity and the super soft are at? Let's do it. Come on, any little Druid. Gone on the sofa. Sounded good. Oh, it spins. It is a spinny ball. Whoa, 172 ball speed though. Okay. It's got the potential. I can keep the spin down. Let's try a couple more. Oh wow. Oh wow. Huh. <laughs> Druid golf ball. Takes the win. 336 yards. Wow. I can't believe that. Well, there you go. If you want, like I said in the previous video, it scuffs up a lot, but it goes as long, and in this case longer, I mean, I did hit that better because that's gone 174 ball speed, but <sighs> crikey. Okay. There we go. So the Druid, obviously, 336. The next longest, the velocity was 326. And the, uh, sorry, the Super Soft was 323. That was the one I thought was going to win. And then the velocity was 326. And then out of nowhere, the Druid smashes it with 336. So, I mean, look at the averages. The, obviously, the Druid there, I did middle that one, so it's, it's lifted the average up. The others in terms of ball speed, I, all, I hit a few, or one not very good one with all of the balls and a couple of really good ones with all of them. So it's about fair. The Druid is the outlier because I did middle that one, but even with the other ones I didn't really middle, it was still keeping up with them. So there's a story in that alone, isn't there, really? But this, let's have a look. So on average, the Super Soft is right up there. So is the TaylorMade Distance, actually. That was really good. On the ball speed, it was, it was the highest on average, apart from the Druid. So, and it launched nicely. Look at the launch on it. So that's why it was launching at 14, which is a lovely launch angle. The spin wasn't too high, 2.2. Two. It was carrying 2.99 on average and rolling out the 3.17. So yeah, there's an argument there for the TaylorMade Distance Plus on average. 
Um, yeah, I really, I'm impressed with the TaylorMade. That was a that was a good ball, but for me, still, I think the Super Soft. It's just it feels soft in the name. It's soft for putting. It's soft around the greens. Um, arguably, for me, I like a firmer ball, especially off the driver. So maybe it's a little too soft. So maybe we'll be switching to more of the TaylorMade Distance Plus from a practice rounds or when I'm not playing so good and I don't mind losing a few balls that are cheaper. But I'm impressed with the Druid. Remember, the point of this is. How far do cheaper golf balls go? These are all cheaper, and I'll throw up the, the prices in a minute. Or I'll probably throw the prices up as I've been talking about them, to be honest. But the Druid is the cheapest one there, eight, $7.99 for 10 balls. The next cheapest is the Shrixen Distance and the TaylorMade Distance Plus. So I would say in terms of value, distance, um, robustness and longevity, you know, scuffing, things like that, I would say the distance plus the TaylorMade is probably the best bang for your buck. The Druid is great. It's the cheapest, but it does, you know, I hit three seven irons earlier in here and it looked like it had been hit, uh, you know, it looked like it had been hit 10 rounds and been in bunkers and all over the place. So it's probably not as cost effective because you're going to go through those 10 golf balls far more quickly and onto another sleeve of them. Whereas the TaylorMade distance plus, I've hit them quite a lot. And they don't scuff up anywhere near as much. So I would say on averages and value, TaylorMade Distance Plus, if you're looking for the raw distance, the Druid aside, because I think that was just, I absolutely middled it. I got a 174 ball speed, which is um, not really fast for me. You know, I can get into the 180s, but you saw what the averages were for the other ones I hit. I was in the kind of mid to high 160s. So I think if you discount that, looking at the longest one uh, of th the velocity, 326, but that's quite expensive. That's the most expensive one out of all of them. Following on from that, the Super Soft was 323. The Distance Plus was 319. So it kind of correlates. It depends what you want. Like one in a million shot, hardly ever happens. So go for the consistency. Go for the averages. So my recommendation, tailor-made Distance Plus. If you want to spend a little bit more and you want a slightly softer ball, Callaway Super Soft. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it informative and useful looking at how much these all cost and the average distances you get with them on driver. We've had the 7 iron, now we've got the driver. Putting them together, you now will be able to make a really informed decision about which budget ball is going to do the best versus the Pro V1. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like this if you like the video if you want more videos like this let me know and always consider subscribing because you will know if you subscribe that my videos actually lower your handicap and improve your scores can't hurt thanks for watching